programming? Eighty sixteen to Montgomery. Stop on a suspected vehicle on I-85 at the 18-mile post marker. Need assistance in reference to a drug stop. All right, so would you stop by the car and come back and let me talk to you for just a moment? Come around here and have stand right here for a minute and let me talk to you just a moment. How y'all doing today? I sure appreciate you coming out to help me. What I found in your car to believe a controlled substance. I'm placing you under arrest now for possession of a controlled substance. How about come over here and place your hands on the rental part? I understand that. Around the clock, America's law enforcers are working to solve and prevent drug-related crimes. From the couriers to the kingpins, the illicit drug world is dangerous and far more complex than ever before. Centralized criminal intelligence at our officers' fingertips can mean the security of a life, a city, and the nation. Opportunities to combat the drug war do not occur in isolation. They require the best people and the best technologies working together. For Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi, that opportunity is the Gulf States Counter Drug Initiative. GSCI hit the ground running in Alabama in three short years. We were able to take information, analyze it, disseminate it, and get it back into the field where it needed to be in the first place. Drugs move fast, and to be able to catch them, we had to get the information back in the field where the officer wanted to make the arrest, catch the drugs before they moved too far. We were able to do that in a matter of minutes, the same information that might have taken weeks in the past. The defense community has a broad variety of technologies that have been developed over the years for military and defense needs. Some of those no longer have homes. There's, there's a drawdown in defense. The industries that develop those technologies now need to move into new markets. The most logical market to move into is the one that concerns American citizens the most today. That's law enforcement protecting their safety. In 1991, through the Defense Appropriations Act, Congress directed the Department of Defense to create a C-4 network to support the drug interdiction roles of the Gulf states. With locations in Montgomery, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana, responsibility for the network was given to the Office of the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Command, Control, Communications, and Intelligence. The Intelligence System Support Office was tasked to undertake this effort, and GSCI was online. Through this new technology, the Gulf States Counterdrug Initiative is strengthening working partnerships between analysts and officers, bringing together the combined resources of federal, state, and local agencies to advance counter-narcotics intelligence. It's getting harder and harder every day to arrest a drug dealer without having information provided to us by our drug operations center. The information that we receive helps us to be more prepared in making that traffic stop. The street officer off today is the thin blue line between the criminal element and the citizen. And giving this officer what the backup that he needs or she needs will uh, allow them to do their job a lot more effective and give them the support they feel like they need from, from uh, the, the state and the federal government. GSCI is supported by two world-class industry leaders, Orion Scientific Systems and Mantech Field Engineering Company, each sustaining reputations of technical excellence in hardware and software development. These companies have integrated the best in law enforcement experience with the highest standards and technology solutions. Using a comprehensive law enforcement analysis data system, Alabama investigative teams generated critical detailed analysis, key evidence in numerous federal prosecutions of a major narcotics ring. The Gulf States Counter Drug Initiative's analytical capability allowed us to analyze and disseminate information from 600,000 cellular telephone calls. Without this analytical data provided to us through the Gulf States Counter Drug Initiative, we would not have been able to disseminate and find the primary target of this investigation, utilizing the GSCI equipment 
we found the primary individual and arrested him and his accomplices. This particular case started over two years ago uh, without the use and the enhancement of this particular computer system it would have been virtually impossible in order to work this case. Telephone tolls were received for over an 18 month period during this case some calls amounting to over well over 6,000 per month. There were over 6,000 pages of documents that had to be fed into the computer. At that point in time the computer system itself took over analyzed these numbers and we were able to chart uh, this particular case for court purposes. GSCI is proof that the right tools can make a difference in the war on drugs. For example, through automated link analysis, complex information can be displayed in traditional link diagrams, making it quick and easy to identify connections between people, locations, activities, automobiles, and telephone numbers and VIA, a visual investigative analysis tool, is used to reconstruct complex criminal activities. Users can organize diagrams in seconds, and most importantly, as new criminal intelligence is collected, charts can be modified, evaluated, and disseminated in a matter of minutes. In Louisiana, law enforcement agencies are relying on the Gulf State's counter-drug initiative to successfully target violent drug gang activity. The Bottom Boys operated in a residential area of Shreveport, and they controlled all the narcotics trafficking in that area through fear and intimidation. They would assault or kill rivals or even other gang members for real or perceived insults. The residents were afraid to come out of their houses. The drugs were dealt openly on the street at all hours of the day. When we work these type of cases, an analyst will meet the case agents and his supervisor uh, and the prosecuting attorney to find out what they need from us. And we'll come back and use the computers and all the data and present a product to them and even more products they didn't ask for. Things that will help them go in a direction they may not have gone before. The GSCI technology has brought together all the old databases into essentially a one-stop shopping approach to searching computer databases. The involvement of uh, Louisiana State Police and the Gulf States Counter Drug Initiative has revolutionized the way that we deal with uh, intelligence information as it applies to drug trafficking. The way we gather, the way we process and disseminate the information has changed. It's absolutely essential that the police officers in, 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 uh, in this state and in all over the country need the best information, most accurate information uh, that's available uh, available to them to be able to function better and uh, in, in a safer way uh, and, and a more effective way. At the Bureau of Narcotics in Mississippi, the GSCI partnership has contributed to grand jury indictments in a major narcotics conspiracy. One of the things that GSCI has done for us in Mississippi is, is to be very amenable to being used with a new tool that the state has, has in its arsenal in the drug war now, which is the statewide grand jury. During previous years, county, multi-county uh, conspiracies were presented in one county or the next county or the next county or the next county over and over to different grand juries because we had county grand juries that addressed offenses. The statewide grand jury enabled us to, to focus our resources more effectively on significant traffickers who have multi-county involvement. What we've been able to do is to integrate the statewide grand jury with the tools that we've obtained through GSCI. The first case, the first statewide grand jury case that, uh, that we investigated was one in which was really the first big case that we used the GSCI tools with. One of the things you can say about GSCI is that it has enabled us to go into the 21st century as far as law enforcement technology. We have gone from the stubby pencil and 3 by 5 index card to a sophisticated uh, collating and analytical tool that enables us to process information far more rapidly, effectively, than we've ever been able to process the large amounts of data that are required in complex investigations now. We're able to reduce the most complicated investigation to a, a fairly simple outline that jurors can, that we can understand and that jurors can understand. And, and that's, a, that's a tool that's really valuable to us. 
Drug-related crime and violence is a national tragedy, affecting our freedom and the quality of life all across America. It's a common knowledge that uh, the drug problem uh, that we're trying to address is a nationwide, in fact, a worldwide problem. Strategically, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama are, are a very good location because of the amount of traffic that's headed for the East Coast uh, that goes through this area. In this new era of law enforcement technology, comprehensive, detailed criminal intelligence is vital in combating the war on drugs. I think that the, I think other people or other uh, sister states or other law enforcement agencies outside the GSI can look at what we have and realize that uh, we are a success. Uh, we're just now really called to getting, it off, getting off the ground and uh, we're proud of what we have, and if it had not been for the DOD funding and their involvement, uh, uh, we, we wouldn't be where we are today. I-39 to all available units. I'm in pursuit of a silver pickup truck northbound, LA-35. He's not stopping. Uh, send me some assistance out here. 16, I'm in the area. I'll be looking for him. I think I'm right ahead of you. The success of the Gulf States Counter Drug Initiative speaks for itself. In Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi, GSCI is breaking new ground, enabling law enforcement agencies to better fight the war on drug-related crime, making every second count. <laughs>